are again, happy as can be. I'm looking for something you can see. So somewhere down here is something may interest you, may not. I know someone it may interest who to uh, drive locomotives. <laughs> this could be fun trying to get somewhere to uh, actually stop to see it. I call this I'm not on a road. <laughs> the twat now's even lost signal. Ah, there you go. Can you see it over the trees there, look? Damn, someone's nicked my parking spot. You bastard. <laughs> It's one of the, well, something a lot of, there's a lot of photographs on your interweb of it. Right, the Ouse Valley Viaduct, also called the Balcombe Viaduct, over the River Ouse on the London to Brighton railway line, north of Haywards Heath. It is 1,475 feet long, which is 450 metres. It is 96 feet high. 29 meters at its highest and it carries it's carried on 37 semicircular arches each of 30 feet 9.1 meters surrounded by balustrades each pier contains a jack arch with a semicircular soffit to reduce the number of bricks required 11 million for its construction I've already said it was opened in July 1841 it cost £38,500 to build, equivalent to about £3.5 million back in 2014. It is Grade 2 listed and was restored in 1996 with grants from the Railway Heritage Trust and the English Heritage. Matching stone was imported from France to ensure a close match with the existing balustrades and pavilions. The viaduct is still used with around 110 trains per day passing over it. Obviously that is during the weekday. So you have it. That's why it's got some slightly different colour pieces. Slightly different bricks in colour where it's not weathered in so much. It's only what, 20 years ago, 1996? you got pictures of people on skateboards on this. I've had pictures of push bikes in there somewhere. I don't know how. <laughs> they seem to be riding them, but that would be almost impossible. You can get some uh, sneaky ass pictures over here and all. I'm full of something and it's not always information. <laughs> And today's not over yet. I've still got somewhere else to go. That was uh, 13 of 26 places to visit today. It's still only whatever o'clock. Look at that. Wow. And another little fact is, <coughs> how did they get the 11 million bricks here? Well, they had to come up the canal, which is the way things were done back then. So the huge river, was used to uh, on barges to get the 11 million bricks up here to build that to put the uh, canals out, the canal workers out of business because that was a quicker route from uh, London to Brighton and that's one of the main obstacles to overcome was the Balkan Valley and the River Ouse. So that's what they built, they built that and then lots of goods went on trains, ironically, rather than canals. It's a lost favour to the, it's, you know, the time it took on a journey to get anywhere, as nice as it may have been. So a lot of rivers you know, are sort of overgrown because there's not much traffic on them. Yeah, it's been on my wish list for a while to do this, to find it, and I thought, well, as I'm going to Brighton, Eventually, I might as well do it. Everyone else has done it to death. <laughs>